Welcome back to another edition of Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare. And joining us this morning, please help me welcome Nurse Livy Palmer. And thanks for being here this morning. Absolutely. All right, so we are going to talk a little bit about bariatric surgery and the journey. So Libby, start us off on what bariatric weight loss surgery is for those of us who don't know. Um, bariatric surgery, it's basically a medical term for a group of procedures that will reduce or make a person's stomach smaller. It, it limits how much they can eat at a time mm -hmm. and ultimately it can result in some really fast weight loss. Does that include like a diet change as well? Yes, actually they will be meeting with um, our dietitian. We have a program dietitian. Mm -hmm. They will do their nutrition counseling. Most insurance companies have a nutrition component. Mm -hmm. So they will meet with her uh, monthly to do that. Uh, during that time frame, there's a lot of preoperative testing that will happen. But she's gonna teach them all about the vitamin supplements, protein guidelines, um, what a bariatric plate looks like compared to a normal plate in the American diet. Okay. So, because it is def definitely different. I know that's for sure. Uh, I've known people who have had it and their meal eating is cut in half pretty yeah, much. It's, yeah, it's, it's different. What are some misconceptions about the surgery? Oh, um, that it's the easy way out, yeah. it's dangerous, you're going to develop all sorts of deficiencies. It, it's not the easy way out. There's a lot of work to, um, to get you ready for surgery. It's a lot of education, testing to make sure it's, it's safe. And as far as safety, it's actually safer than having a gallbladder wow. removed. So yeah, it's, um, it's very safe. And then when it comes to vitamin and deficiencies, as long as they're taking their supplements, um, watching their protein intake, um, having the proper yearly lab work done and following up with a surgeon, they should do very well. This is like normal health stuff to it get checkups. Really, it really is. It really is. Yeah. Um, and, the, and the lab work that they will get is a little different than what their family doctor does. Um, and that's the piece that can be missed if mm. they don't follow up with their program. Very good. Libby, the Covenant Bariatric Program, the team and its accreditations, what would you like us to know about that? Oh, yeah. We are um, we're nationally accredited through the American College of Surgeons. It's And I always mess it up because it's a really long name. It's the Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. Accreditation and Quality Improvement Program. It's wow. very long, but it basically means that we meet um, standards for safety and quality. And um, actually, we are one of only two hospitals in the state of Michigan that have accreditation to do bariatric surgery for adolescents. Oh my. Um, so yeah, that is something we actually offer in our program now too. So, yeah. so yeah. I'm sure that, that is helpful for people who are looking for a very reputable place. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the process, you've brought that up a few times now, you know, getting ready for this type of surgery. So what really does that look like? It's, um, it is a process um, or a journey. A lot of people like to call it their journey where yeah. they will, um, they, they start the program, they meet with a dietitian, they do uh, monthly visits with her. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot, there's lab work and preoperative testing. Mm -hmm. We wanna do everything we can to make sure that they are safe for surgery and we know, you know, we know what's gonna happen when we get in there. Mm -hmm. And um, before surgery, they will have a, a preoperative class where they're, we kind of review everything that they've learned along the way. Uh, they learn what's going to happen at the hospital and what to expect when they go home. So, uh, and then we like to support them. We want to support them as best we can for as long as they'll, they'll let us. Mm -hmm. So before and after surgery, we offer um, support groups every month. Uh, sometimes we do them virtually, sometimes they are in person. And our patients, they have access to our program dietitian as often as they want before and after surgery. Um, we, we want our patients to have the best access to uh, care and, and have the guidance that they need, especially if they get to a point where maybe they're struggling a little bit. And you know, our program doesn't charge for the dietitian. We never okay. bill for insurance. Mm -hmm. we, we want them to feel that they can come and see us. I like that you guys have the education part of it, a proportion, proportion of it, because you know, some people, yeah, will take it and just run with it and not follow these steps, but it's crucial. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, so benefits, the medical benefits to having the surgery. Oh, um, there's a lot. Uh, it reduces the risk of certain cancers, okay. uh, stroke and heart attack. It will lower blood pressure. We see lower cholesterol. Um, type 2 diabetes can go into remission. Mm. And for patients that have sleep apnea, um, most of them end up getting rid of the CPAP machine after a while. Wow. So, yeah. So, out of curiosity, are these people coming to get the surgery because of reasons like this? Ab yeah, absolutely. Okay. They just, it's not just you know, weight. No, it's not just weight. They, they want to be healthy again. They want to be able to interact with their family, do things that they, they can't do anymore. Yeah. You know, they've got families and grandkids growing up. They want to spend time with them. 
So yeah. Very good. Libby, uh, if anyone wants to learn more, where should they go? Oh, um, the Covenant Healthcare website. Okay. If they look under specialties, there is a bariatric and metabolic specialty listed there. That link takes them to our web page, and there's a lot of great information about our program, the team, the procedures, and there is a link to an on-demand information video. Mm. So everybody starts watching the video. It's, you know, maybe 20 minutes long. And then there's a consultation uh, request to fill out at the bottom of that page. When they submit it, it will notify me. And then within a few business days, I, I get in touch with them. I'll answer whatever questions they have. And then we can get them scheduled to meet with the surgeon and the dietitian. Well, you seem very easy to get, you know, talk to and get along with. So I'm sure it's easy for your patients. Yeah, we want to make the process as easy and smooth as we can. You know? So you told me you're doing this for about 10 years now. Yeah. So what inspires you the most? to keep going. Um, oh, just, I guess, seeing the patient's smiles. You know, some of them come in, they're so defeated. They've tried every diet, weight loss medication that, yeah. that's out there, and nothing is working. And then when I see them at support group months after surgery, um, they practically glow. They're mm -hmm. just so happy, glad that they did it. And if you ask them, I will say 99.9% .9 will say, I wish I would have done it sooner. Yeah, very yeah. good. Libby, anything else you want us to know? Um, no, I, I kind of think I got it covered. I think you did a really <laughs> great job covering yeah. everything we yeah. need to know. All right, well, thanks for coming in today and being with us. Sure, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Absolutely, our pleasure. And if you want any additional information on today's topic, you can head over to the Hot Links page that's on our website at WNEN.com.